Hey there, welcome to another episode of Monday Designs. I'm your host Monday. This video is part of my tips and tricks series, and today we're going to be talking about protecting against theft. As a collector, I have quite a few games. In fact, as of the recording of this video, uh, I just hit 1,301 games. Um, these are just physical copies. Uh, I do have more games. They're just digital copies as well, or just something you know that was uh, hard to find physically. I bought it digitally. Um, but one of the things that I try really hard is to protect against theft. Um, now, I mean, there are some ways that people can steal things and whatnot by borrowing them and not returning them and stuff like that. And I have tips for that as well. Um, but uh, this is mainly about someone breaking into your home and just basically robbing you. Um, so my first tip is to get a P.O. box for shipping. If you suddenly find yourself buying like 50, 60 games on eBay per month, you know, you might want to start you know, using a P.O. box or having it shipped to your work, you know, or something, or scheduling to be there when the package arrives. Otherwise, you might have porch pirates come along and just take your stuff, or you just, you know, someone might suddenly realize that, hey, there's a lot of boxes going into this house, and then, you know, they get uh, a pneumatic jack or something and lift up your garage and bust into your house and just take everything that they think is of value. And um, the thing is, is that a lot of thieves have figured out that video games have a value. You know, they have a pretty big value on the used market right now. You know, if someone comes in and, you know, steals, like, you know, uh, a developer cart out of your collection or something like that you know, there's no real serial number on those things so the next thing to go over is uh, Craigslist meetings um, you know, a lot of things can be purchased on Craigslist a lot of things can be faked on Craigslist and just be used to lure someone with you know the amount of cash that the person is demanding and um, this is why I would highly suggest Having a Craigslist meeting at a police station, um, you know, make sure that it has cameras. No one's going to show up and try to, uh, you know, say that they have a PlayStation 4 for sale for $200 and, and like, show up with a gun to a police station to try to rob you of the $200 cash that you have on you and that they know they have, that you have it on you. Um, so, I mean... You know, that's that's another thing is just make sure be safe with Craigslist. Yeah, you know, I have people have tried to rob me on at Craigslist and stuff, and I had friends nearby with guns, and they were sitting in their car. Um, so, you know, just be careful with that one. Uh, you know, and as as my next point is, is take your friends with you when you're doing Craigslist. You know, leave them in the car. Or make sure they have, you know, a phone or a gun or something. Um, you know, just please be careful. Uh, the next uh, topic on my notes, uh, and give me just a second. Uh, the next topic on my notes is uh, no storage units without cameras. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that have to have a large collection and a small house, or they're moving or something, and they have to box up their uh, their collection and you know, stored in a storage unit, and you know, if you're going to do that, uh, you know, I would use the comic book short boxes and not label them. You know, do not label them valuable video games that are worth money. Um, yeah, you know, of course, no one's going to really do that. But if you say, you know, PlayStation Four on the side of a box, and some worker that's a little bit unscrupulous, you know, checks checks that and sees that. You know what? If they're gonna if they're gonna take someone someone's uh, stuff out of their unit, they're probably gonna take something that they're gonna want to keep. And you know, it's you know, it's just not worth it. Just go ahead and make sure that you get a storage unit with cameras. Storage units get broken into all the time, you know, and you need to have one that has cameras. It's 
not foolproof, but it will make it more difficult for the thief to get away with it. Um, also, be careful who you tell that you have a large collection. You know, it's great to go out and make friends and all this other stuff, uh, but you know there might be someone that's a friend that you think is a friend, and they're going to turn around and they're going to come to your house when they know that you're out of town or something like that and rob you and take all of your stuff and because you know if you have something that they really really want and they just don't have the morals to keep them from doing it they're going to come take it from you uh you know, and uh the next thing is do not post on social media when you are out of town it's like advertising hey i'm out of i'm not in my house come rob me you know if a, if a thief thinks that they're not going to get caught by breaking into your house, they're going to break into your house. They're going to try to take your stuff. So don't advertise it. If, you, if you're if you off at Disneyland and everything like that, avoid making Facebook posts about it. Post about it after you get home, after you've cleaned up the photos, after you've gone through and decided which photos are good and which ones are bad. Just don't do it while you're away from your home. Um, you know, the next thing is to block your windows from snoops and thieves. You know, just draw the curtains up. You know, don't don't have sunlight going into your room. I mean, there's you know the idea of like sunlight fading your consoles and fading the games covers and stuff like that and labels, but it's also just to keep prying eyes out of what they shouldn't be seeing. You know, if if you want someone to see your collection. They're probably a friend and you're going to invite them into your home. You don't want someone who's running around in your backyard to poke their head up to a window and be able to see exactly what's what they could potentially steal. Uh, and of course then there's some of the other stuff like get a security system. Um, you know, particularly I, I like the ones that can link to your cell phone and let you see what the cameras see or uh, the cell phone will alert you when something goes wrong with your security system. Um, get a dog. Uh, security systems can be defeated. And I, I know dogs can be defeated as well, but you know, there's a certain amount of fear that people have where if, you know, if a dog is barking at them, they're probably going to move on to someone that's easier. And the last one is very controversial, which is, um, you know, a firearm for home protection is not a terrible idea. Um, you know, it's, I know it's very controversial, you know, but, you know, it's out there. It can be done. Uh, also, making friends with your neighbors, um, you know, becoming good friends with your neighbors, not just kind of passing or whatever, but you know, being really good friends with your neighbors and, uh, you know, letting them know when you're out of town so that they can, you know, pick up your mail and they pick up the paper so that it does not look like you're not at home. Um, you know, and that way if they see something odd like, you know, the garage opens or, uh, you know, the, the door is unlocked for some reason and it swings open on its own, it's just one of those things where it's just nice to have a neighbor that's going to be looking out for you and also return the favor. Look out for your neighbor as well. Well, that's it for this episode of Monday Designs. I'm your host, Monday, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.